Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Whatever in the world you are, loves, let's see each individual zodiac sign, where they are, how they are as well, how the energies are. And I hope by the end of today will be done the readings for the coming week. And it's quite a spicy one. Let's see loves. And as well, starting with our beautiful Aries. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Aries, the first card for you, we have Four of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and Queen of Cups. Seems like I had this recently for some of you with Four of Pentacles, Knight and the Queen. So yeah, there is something here that not quite sure how to go or what to do, but feels like slowly, slowly you will allow the energies or the things go on a smooth side. Indeed, here with this Four of Pentacles feels like I'm not so easy to, to go after or I'm not as easy to to compromise or even to go forward but I feel here with this Knight of Pentacles going on the slowest pace you will realize how and where to move forward yes for some of you might deal here with an earth or a water but I feel here very much speaks about who you are and what you are doing out there because it could be a situation that you have a hard time to let it go but slowly slowly you will towards new love for some of you you do have someone new into your life and slowly slowly you will allow them to be or you will be more in that allowance, go with the flow, go forward. Taurus, time for you, loves. Let's see what we got. The first card for you, we have Four of Wands, Knight of Wands, and Ace of Swords. Yes, there is a discussion today for some of you with someone. Could be with a Sagittarius, could be with a fire sign. But I feel here this is something here about what we are doing in here. How we are together, we are not together. Because I feel here someone here stays with you but doesn't. It's kind of they, their home, my home, our home and you just... We just feel like I I need some clarity here. You are or you are not with me. Yes, you enjoying the time together, we feeling happy, but is this truly what I am looking for? So it's a clarity energy here for some of you. But I feel here for for some of you if you want to make a purchase because I see here documents, house. Make sure you are with some, someone or you going to purchase the home or whatever you are to purchase because it's a big purchase. Make sure you have the right person for that or you are dealing with the right person. You got me loves. Because sometimes we, we going into something with someone and or we want to do something and quick fast and it's better to take your time and not rush all right loves forward movement to our gemini's that's allows how is your energy out there hierophant queen of cups and your major arcana, lovers. For some of you, 
you deal either with a Taurus, either with another Gemini or a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I feel here there is a choice for you to allow someone in your life, most likely, and going with the flow. Yes, choosing to be in a more stable commitment with this person feels like it's your choice. Allowing or do not. Very beautiful energy indeed. A very soothing, very calming as well. And feels also, Gemini, a safe energy. For some of you, there is someone into your life and they want something stable. You are the one to choose loves very, very strongly here. It's kind of my choice, not our choice. Four of Swords on the bottom speaks very strongly of take your time. You don't need to rush in making a decision, but you know deep, deep down what is that decision, how they are for. Cancerians, welcome loves. Happy Friday. Let's see what do we have for you at this time. A hangman energy. Nine of Wands and the King of Swords. The thing what I'm seeing here, Cancerian, it's it's an energy here that you gotta say what is right for you and go after what is right for you. Crystal clear. For some of you, you are quite clear about a situation that doesn't feel that goes anywhere. And could be a legal situation, could be a situation between you and someone. The thing is, I feel here someone needs to intervene in here. You know, for example, you are in a stuck situation and you or you want to go to a divorce or whatever it is. Some of you don't resist the help from a professional. That very, very strong message here because you are not stuck. It's more likely the resistance you are into might not give you that clear view. And for some of you, someone here from my side might give you that. So the movement could happen because I feel here there's a Cancerian who it's either feeling stuck, either it's at the crossroads, which you know, way to go, which decision to make. Leo's time for you loves. Let's see what we got and how the things are out there. Six of swords, hangman, and Queen of Wands. Here you are, loves, on the way to a new future, to a new beginning. Getting over of a situation which puts you to reflect what you need to sacrifice for and what you don't need to sacrifice for. And for some of you, there is um, a situation or a period in your life that is just pathing. You see yourself from a different lens, from a different light, and you now, whatever you are, it's not your final destination. And indeed, it is not your final destination. Moving on from probably a very stuck energy for you, Leo, but you are not anymore out there. And indeed here, whatever you are moving, looks quite beautiful, promising, and very, very lovely. And for that reason, do the work, loves. Virgo, I stumble to your zodiac as I do the readings. I in the middle right now, so I'm to your zodiac. But let's do your day and see how this Friday looks like for you. Temperance energy. 
Queen of Cups energy and Seven of Pentacles. My Virgos, I feel here you are now taking time for yourself or giving you time for the healing you are into. And most importantly, you are allowing this period of time to go with the flow. I don't know what is in today with this Queen of Cups, but Seven of Pentacles, yes, you are taking the time. It's not like I'm done with my healing, but I feel here whatever you do indeed requires time, requires flow, requires allowing and opening for it. And you know that. For some of you, if you've been waiting for someone to come forward, it's someone who you have in your heart, someone who you have a deep love. Give them time. They will come. They will be there. All right, loves. And you know many, many times the things will go differently. Yes, you probably are quite a lot on to. And for those of you who are healing from a very toxic, very crazy situation, indeed this time is very, very much needed. My beautiful Libras, time for you loves. Let's see what do we have in the mix for you. Five of Wands, Knight of Cups, and King of Cups. All right, there's a Libra here who got a job or is about to get a job. And know that you probably, you can consider yourself lucky, but I don't feel that's luck. It's more likely experience how good experience or knowledge even because i feel here from whomever was there to fight for the position i'm not sure why right away came this message but you know i always trust my guides so i will go with this whatever it's there whoever fight for the offer it's coming to you whatsoever yes you got this offer this is coming you know you are the one chosen, but something here doesn't feel for you right. Either there's something here you are expecting to have or something else is there you want it to. Ground yourself, loves, and ask for it. You know, you know. For some Libras, you do have a few people who are very interested in you. But one really wants to be with you. Whatsoever I feel here, you are not as much into that person as they are in you. Comment below, loves, and let me know which one is best or which one resonates. Seven of Pentacles. I feel here there's a Libra here who does wait or needs to wait or needs to take your time before saying something. Scorpios, time for you, loves. Let's see. The first card, we have Temperance, Two of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Okay, love, somebody here might come back to you. There's somebody here returning for reconciliation or you call it. The thing is, you are not quite really sure what to do or if you are wanting them because it feels like the past with whomever is this one doesn't feel great. For some 
of you Scorpius there is a situation from your past that you need to heal and overcome and there is an offer of a new beginning of new love and be careful what you are accepting and what you are dumping okay because I see you here and there I'm not sure I'm not quite into death energy it's your major arcana the death very much speaks that it's a challenging situation that you will go into but death very very strongly speaks about leave the past behind and underneath we have king of wands take actions towards what you feel is right and good to you Sagittarius it's time for you loves let's see the first card for messages we have six of swords page of cups and four of pentacles okay you are moving on from a situation but somebody here is to help you or give you a hand doesn't feel like you are quite pleased about it or even you want it for some of you you are moving on from a situation and it could be a love situation could be any situation there is a specific person out there that it's quite like a catalyst the thing is you are not quite sure if you want them even though like a friend or like a helper or anything for others of you there's a situation you are indeed are uh, moving on now there is another offer doesn't feel big enough right now but feels like you are not quite into it this is the card which clarifies the high priest very much speaks like your intuition speaks one thing follow it always follow your intuition no matter what your intuition speaks quite highly for you knight of swords don't rush to do certain things i feel here there is something here you you need kind of like don't get into conclusions too fast too soon for whatever it's offered because sometimes you know judging a book by its cover might not be the best thing to do capricorns time for you my loves boom boom capricorns four of cups page of pentacles and ten of cups look at this look at this something here is offered and feels here that you you might refuse that because you are looking totally for something else so for some capricorns you may have new energy into your life and there is um, an old one which interferes quite strongly whatsoever you're not quite interested in that you are more into what you have or where are you going after so yeah you leave something behind because you are ready for something else good job loves a lot of cups very much speaks about your emotional state or your self-worth or how you feel about whatever it's on the way it's nothing like what you leave behind and that's quite speaks a lot when we feeling good we think different and we are different and so on moon energy for some of you you are even afraid to not it's kind of like break the spell it's not like a spell but it's like break this happy energy you know sometimes when we are very happy everything crazy comes good and you know goes with the flow and we think like well is this a spell is this a dream it is not love it's an energy that you need to enjoy Aquarius, time for you, loves. 
Let's see. The first card, Hangman, Ten of Cups, and Page of Cups. So my lovely Aquarius, there is a situation here that you need to see it quite differently. Because sometimes, you know, little things makes the bigger picture. And sometimes the, the time you have to reflect is the most important, the most valuable time. Whatsoever I feel here, this hangman, for some of you, were that time, because the, the time frame for hangman is two years. For some of you, you've been in two years of reflection. What makes me happy? And also, in that reflection that what what I have, what I want, and here you are. If you've been single for two years or for a very long time, now there is a person who comes to you. For some of you, you just needed a time for yourself to, to find out who you are, what makes you happy. Because believe it or not, there are millions of people, and I call millions of people in this world, who doesn't know what makes them happy. So keep in mind that. I feel here for some of you, you needed to find what makes me happy. And that are probably little things. What do I want? Nine of Cups. If you just met someone new i feel here you really want to be with that one make it known pisces time for your loves here we are the first card for you we have a justice energy four of swords and six of cups all right, so my Pisceans are very much reflecting on their current situation and their past situation or a situation from the past. Takes time, yes, but I feel here very soon you will know which way to go. For others of you Pisces, you might go through a separation or a divorce and you might, you might need time to, to reflect on what you get from and what you don't. Because for some of you, there is children involved in that process or that situation. But yeah. And also I see here a Pisces that takes some time to, to rekindle with their inner child. Because you know, so many people could have a one-of-a-kind childhood and repair in that child or rekindle with that child could take quite a lot of time. Knight of Swords. There's something here you want to do, but you don't need to rush to. A lot of people feel like this day goes out of their patience. I don't have patience for this. I don't have patience for that. But just to think, rushing into the things many times, you might mess them up. Take time anyway. And I will go with this green cards, the, the Burlitz deck for the collective. Let's see, what do we got for you, collective? How the energies are. And of course, where we are heading towards. Seven of Pentacles for you, collective. Seven, Eight of Swords. Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles, 
Queen of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Through Two of Cups, Nine of Wands, and Nine of Swords. All right, love, somebody here leaves somebody behind or is about to leave somebody behind. And whoever comes forward, they, they're not quite sure what to do about it. They are quite not sure to do about it. Whatsoever the Wheel of Fortune, which is only Major Arcana, very much speaks that whatever is going on into your life, if you are dealing here with someone and they come around, goes around and whatever, that person is non-stop thinking of you. I have fire, water and earth. From the fires, I can have Sag or a Leo. From the waters, very strongly, Queen of Cups is a Cancerian. And Page of Pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But look at here, Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Two of Cups. So there is two here to people who do love each other. Both of them think on each other. They may not see eye to eye, but it's a lot of thinking. But also this love is very much resisted or there's a lot of resistance. Yeah, and it could be even a secret love. Somebody here needs to be confident in their move and go after what they truly believe it's your, is theirs. Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. And with the full energy, which full many, many times, you know, it's either an Aries, either a, a Gemini. Somebody here needs to take it slow on themselves and to not care too much. And I'm, am I worth of this person? Am I good for them or someone? Because somebody here feels like very, very much like I'm not good enough or I'm not for this or they will never come forward or they will never do. And the high priestess with this five of pentacles clarifier very much speaks that whoever were with someone, there were too many secrets in between. And that's why both of these two people go apart because they've been growing apart. It's like, it's not that the, a third person separate them, but most likely the secrets and the hideouts between them. Because many, many times you will be surprised how connections are going apart when people hide things from each other. And the hardest part is when we found from others. That's very, very strong. So yes, loves, I feel here, someone here is thinking how I can work my relationship with the person I love, Two of Cups. And the answer is very, very strong that your intuition tells you how to. But most importantly, go with the flow and don't expect anything. Blessings, loves, and I will see you next time. Namaste.